because he's had extraordinary success. It's not just the talk, it's the walk. He's the leader. Faculty members at Kent State University will remember their leader of eight years for a number of accomplishments, beginning with creating opportunity for his students. His team brought an annual presidential speaker series, inviting new guest speakers such as historical writer Eli Wiesel and filmmaker Ken Burns. Dr. Lefton brought two medical schools to Kent State. He just came up to me one day and said, what do you think of this? What do you think about starting a college of public health here? Dr. Robert Frank served as Lefton's provost from 2007 to 2012. Frank Skyped in from the University of New Mexico, where he is now president. Before Kent State, Frank was the dean of the College of Public Health at the University of Florida. He said, but would it work here? And I said, yeah, of course it would work here. We don't have it. it there, there's, a, you know, there's nothing like this in Northeast Ohio. and We have all the, all the needs here and the ingredients here. And he said, well, so you think it would work? I said, absolutely. He said, well, why don't we do it? And I said, you're the president. Did he win you over with this one? You know, it didn't take much to win me over. I could see the need and the opportunity there. Uh, I had just done it at Florida. I wasn't too keen to do it again because I knew it was a heavy lift. And it didn't turn out to be as heavy a lift at Kent State. How beneficial is this to Kent State? This brings to the university a mix of students who are high performing, smart students that wouldn't have looked to Kent State for an education. It brings research interests and opportunities to the university that wouldn't have been there previously. Lefton also brought in the College of Podiatric Medicine. It's only nine schools of podiatric medicine in the, uh, in the country. Brian Caldwell is the Associate Dean of the College of Podiatric Medicine. Kent State University acquired the college in 2012. It previously served as a small private university on its own for decades, the Ohio College of Podiatric Medicine. To have a, um, a relationship with a major university, um, it's, it's research benefits, it's educational benefits. The Kent State College of Podiatric Medicine worked side by side with many colleges across campus, including the College of Nursing, the College of Business Administration, and even the Liquid Crystal Institute. While maybe from afar, Dr. Leffen still found ways to make students feel more welcome at Kent State. He felt that, you know, diversity is, like I said, the core of what we do. Dr. Alfreda Brown is the Vice President of the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at Kent State. Why, why is this a priority for him? I'm pretty sure it's, it's connected to who he is as a person as well. But even more so, it's, it's this understanding of what diversity means for our students. During Lefton's tenure, the university also created its first LGBTQ center. Education was certainly a priority at the university, but Lefton also thrived as a businessman. Despite raising tuition and adding a credit cap fee to students taking more than 16 credit hours, Lefton brought the university's enrollment to an all-time high, over 25% increased since arriving in 2006. During an economic downturn, not a single faculty member was laid off in Lefton's time. While he received six bonuses in eight years, each near 100 grand, Lefton and 10 members of his cabinet donated their 2009 pay raises to scholarship funds. Lefton spent millions of dollars by improving a number of facilities across campus. 3.3 million on Risman Plaza renovations in the center of campus. A $200 million main campus reconstruction plan in 2010 called for a new student green in Risman Plaza, upgrades to many dorm rooms, a new architecture building along the newly constructed Esplanade extension, $13 million honored Kent State alumna Roe Green by renovating and renaming a music and speech theater. $1.1 million went to a May 4th visitor center. Spending money also means making money. Lefton created 11 faculty positions solely to focus on fundraising, and they raised record funds. The Centennial Campaign of 2012 raised $265 million, the largest fundraiser in Kent State history. Through it all, Lefton might be remembered most for his work that went beyond just students and faculty. With his name forever tied to it, the Lesser A. Lefton Esplanade symbolizes President Lefton's efforts to connect Kent State University with the city of Kent. But where the Esplanade ends is not where his work ends. You see, a college campus was not enough to contain all of his aspirations. He started calling me his BFF early on. I thought that was hysterical. You could say Kent City Manager Dave Ruller and Lesser Lefton have a pretty good relationship. They share the goal of making the city of Kent a more appealing college town. He wants this university to be phenomenal. 
Lufton had a mind for what new elements this college town needed. He helped find investors for numerous aspects of downtown Kent, including Acorn Alley 1 and 2 and the Erie and Main Street Complex. The Kent State Foundation pledged $16 million for the University Hotel and Conference Center, which makes profits for Kent State University. Lufton was part of a team that pitched to receive the Tiger Grant, a federal grant from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. The pitch was successful and the grant helped build the Parta Transit Center. Even after mulling over a long list of accomplishments, it is still up in the air. Just exactly who is Dr. Lester A. Lefton? How would you define the personality of Dr. Lefton? Genuine compassion and a desire to have the best for Kent State. The students are front and center in that. That, that discussion begins and ends with students. And when you look at what people are wanting out of a new president, it's like superhuman. I mean, there's nobody that could do everything that everybody wants out of that president. For Frank Caldwell, Brown, and even Roller, it's no secret that the success and accomplishments he created, not for himself, but for his faculty, his students, and his community, trumps the power of any friendly wave or quick hello.